Why don't you, uh, what else is new here? Like, are they still going to be doing the project? I like. Ju I got here maybe like Have 20 you minutes the trail ago. Here? How come Iris has dirty hands? All right, let's see if we can do a walkthrough. I'm a Jack and Cusack. I am one of the many actors here at Project Terra Trails. And as I mentioned before, I have not been here since last year, so I am going to be seeing new stuff as soon as you are. First scene is cemetery. Two, three, or four actors is kind of like a like a rush, like a zombie sort of attack. This is new. It's tree. The guts on it. last year it was just super skinny super lanky and you could not tell like all the times i walked through i couldn't tell like where he was because he'd constantly be moving from different ones and he'd just sit there and he would just like gallantly go down and just sneak up behind people he's he freaking cool we have a, an annabelle-esque kind of doll so basically Back in the uh, early 80s, there was this Friedhof family that owned all this property. And um, they decided that they were going to start, they had a lot of land, they are going to start taking in, you know, people's loved ones, dead bodies that they couldn't afford, you know, funeral stuff, it'd just be cheap burials. So they started doing that for a while, but then, you know, as most things, business was kind of dwindling. So they started accepting anonymous dead bodies from people that were you know, suspected serial killers and, you know, after a while, you know, they did that for a couple of years, then you saw, saw the family less and less and, you well, that's pretty much how it goes. And they say that, you know, especially dark, you can still hear some of the serial killers maybe, or the family, the original Friedhof family walking around. But it's just been a kind of like a, a pinnacle of all things weird. It just kind of happened all of a sudden. Kind of cheap hidey holes for like the actor. Because when you're walking through a haunted attraction, you're just really paying attention to what's ahead of you. Because I don't know, sometimes you'll get the scare from the side, but a lot of times they're looking straight ahead. And if they're looking straight ahead, and if you run right at them, they hate that, and it's beautiful. The haunted house business, mm -hmm. um, honestly, I can remember as far back as when I was like two or three years old, and my mom, Tracy, would be filling up the yard with all sorts of Halloween decor and a lot of kids would come on the property and just get their scare on. Then after that, of course, you know, years and years later, we, we were affiliated with Nightmare on Grayson. And I, we worked there, I was an actor there for about seven years. And then they closed down. This is the break room slash costume room.
Oh, I brought that axe back if you wanted to use it as a prop. Okay. And I have an extra knife. This looks like a, a homage to, to Jason Voorhees when he's just wearing the sack over the head. He took it a little bit too far. Uh, right here, this is probably like the most sought after scene. This is our chainsaw scene. When we use we use a live chainsaw without a chain, of course, and you know, people are terrified of that. Chase this year, from what I've seen, maybe like four or five, but uh, there's always more to come. Like I remember at Grayson, even up until Halloween, we were hiring on the spot. And it's still early, people still might be showing up. Definitely a hundred percent independent. Coming up is everyone's favorite. We got the clown scene. Like, cause as soon as you, as soon as you cross this threshold right here, you can hear the circus music, and a lot of people, this whole stretch is just like a, oh man, like I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Kind of. This is the kind of play. There's a lot of really good places for actors to hide in this area. Good. Shameless promotion at the end. Project Terror Trail. I probably one of, my, one of my favorite things about this common area is as soon as it gets dark, they have this video projection set up and they show clips from horror movies and music videos. And I'm trying to work a deal with a, a popular YouTuber named Lazy Masquerade who reads uh, horror story, real life horror stories from Reddit and uh, starts showing those. Goes, um, the first half of the day is uh, it's all like PG, PG-13 stuff. As soon as it hits 10 o'clock is the free range. We can put whatever we want. A lot of uh, that's where the Rob Zombie stuff comes out. Good crowd going. Um, do you wanna go ahead and go check on the actors, make sure they're all in uh, in spot for me, please. In 1952, the Friedhoff family opened this expansive ranch land to the public, offering cheap funeral services and burials for those who couldn't afford a proper resting place for their loved Good. We got a nice steady flow. Yeah, it's uh, been constant. And I've been hearing a lot of screaming. And a lot of people laughing walking out there. Everybody's having fun. 